Fatima got Madam to handle whatever little problems Andy's dealing with. Danny is out on a date with the married man. And Karen has an emotional moment delivering the news in her letters. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. In this video, we are breaking down the teaser to episode number six from season five, which seems so much more eventful and interesting than episode number five. It was kind of a snooze special, y'all. Check out my breakdown if you missed it. Um... I feel like my breakdown, I found a way to make it a little interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this little teaser. So the teaser opens up with Andy and Fatima and Madam. And I think Angela's still there. Yeah, Angela's sitting next to um, Andy. And Madam's like, so why you call me over here, girl? Last time you called me over here, you called me over here to fricassee and fillet some random Negro on his own hood of his car. Now what you want? <laughs> Newsflash! This is the this is the goons. This is the mob. This is the the gang affiliation that Fatima have. Um, and this is news to Andy. She's like, oh, is this you? So basically, they are tapping in, Madam, to help um Andy figure out what is going on with with Sabrina and to get Sabrina's ass out of jail. And I'm totally here for it. And while she added, she can go ahead and deal with with some other little things that Andy got to deal with, like a little disrespectful robbing, a hating ass hating, and a won't go away as Gary. So let's go ahead and sweep up all the problems while we at it. I'm here for it. How y'all feel about it? Um, from there, we go to a crying Karen and a crying Aaron, where she's saying, basically, we want to get a small clip, y'all. I cannot wait till she read these letters. Like, I am so looking forward to these scenes, right? But she says, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. And we see um, Aaron just responding so sad. And I'm like, I'm, one, I'm wondering what the hell is Gary, what the, not Gary, what does Zach look like on the other side of the table? Because he's here as well. But then also, I personally feel like they always play the opposites when they give us these teasers and these trailers. So while it looks like she's breaking Aaron's heart, I feel like there's still so much more that she's going to say. And he might be overcome in like, um, crying because he's excited and he finally is getting the answers that he has been wanting from her and it's been super clear or this is super clear so I don't necessarily know if this is something that's really pointing in us in the direction of like she's completely done with Aaron or not I'm really 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 looking forward to the moment where she reads these letters this is probably quite literally the thing that I'm most excited about for the entire season. So they have the potential to make my entire season with this one scene. Or actually, it's, I think this is going to be a scene that spans over the course of two episodes. I don't know if we're going to get everything in this first part. I think that we're going to get the letter reading to Aaron in this episode. And maybe the letter reading to Zach in the next episode. But regardless, again, I am very, very excited. Okay. And then from there, we got to go and catch up with Q, who's on his knees talking about something about if you want, want to get off, I can get you off, whatever, whatever. How the hell did he get back in the house, Calvin? You had the locks changed. Did you open the door and let his ass walk the hell right back in? You already know that this is a, 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 a crazy ass stray cat that once he gets in your house, you can't even get his ass out. So why is he here, Calvin? Like... These men, y'all so weak in the knees, stand up. And he's sitting here disrespecting you, alluding to you wanting to engage with gay sexual activity and you're not a gay man. Like, I can't. I, I am so over Q and anything that Tyler Perry wants to have him do. Like, Tyler Perry, we don't care, bro. We really don't care. If Maurice about to sit his ass in jail and, ride, and Calvin about to just cry about letting... Q back in the house after he got the locks changed then they could do that all off camera we do not need to see it because it's the most boring thing to watch that nobody even is invested in and i'm over it let me know if y'all invested in the comment section down below because y'all i'm moving on surprise surprise the next scene from there is paris uh robin is questioning him like yo do you know andy uh did you ever take her out wop de wop de wop i it's all of the men coming to other men as men for me like i really thought that this was a woman thing like why are y'all doing this goofy sh like all over like 
Andy, I don't know what you got between your legs. I don't know what your kuda kuda is giving, honey. But it, it, it sounds like it's giving or seems like it's giving diamonds and pearls. It seems like it's giving paradise, honey. It seems like it's giving utopia. Because the way that these men are all up in a tizzy. Robin, didn't you dismiss her like she was nothing to you? You sat there in that damn office and disrespected her and told her, you better go ahead and talk to my damn assistant next time you want to come in my office. And then you turn around and you got Paris in here questioning him about what he did with Andy. Why? You're not concerned. You know that she's clean and you don't got to worry about no STDs and you're pretty much done with her. So be done with her. Why are we running around trying to check her whole facts? Like, it's when the men get all goofy for me. Like... You were so great, just poised, powerful. You had some money. You had a little confidence to you. Was a straight shooter. You had real ass conversations, and then you turn around and gotta be goofy, gotta be whack, gotta be weak as. I hate this for you, Robin. Like the fall off was so real, but I am excited to see Paris as ushered right back in here with his bald head and his little beard. Like how how you doing? How you doing, Paris? Maybe this is who Andy should have been with from the jump, because while they had an interaction interesting interaction um it's giving blue collar greatness it's giving he might not have you know hundreds of thousands of dollars but he's going to be able to perform in the bedroom and love you right and you know what andy that's all you really really need right now because these other men are coming with nothing but stress drama and disrespect and i hate that for you and then the last part is danny on his damn date with the married dude who was telling her to reach in his pocket and all this other kind of stuff girl danny are you that lonely do you want to scratch this itch that bad honey you don't know this man honey that's all i got to say because i'm not looking forward to her whole little shenanigans with jonah and then he's supposed to get real sexually aggressive with her at some point throughout the course of this season and it's going to be a problem so I'm really trying hard not to say, Danny, you walked into this because I'm not trying to blame the victim. But then also, Andy, I mean, Danny, go sit your ass down and focus, honey. Just go sit your ass down and focus. Allow yourself to process and heal from the ridiculousness that was Preston. Pick up a book and stop picking up this weed pen. Maybe find a different job because you don't like this one. And just try to find some happiness, honey. Because it's not at this ball. It's not across from this man. It's not at the bottom of these bottles. Like, it's just not where you're currently looking. So, you need to look somewhere else. Damn. And, yeah, y'all, that is my thought. Or oh, those are my thoughts for the preview for episode number six of season five. I'm most, most looking forward to, as I mentioned, the conversation with Karen, Zach, and Aaron as well as Paris popping back up. And then, of course, Madam. I, we love a good All the Queen's Men crossover. And Madam is a is a force to be reckoned with. And I cannot wait to see what energy she brings to the sisters universe. Now it's your turn. Did you check out the trailer? And if you did, let me know what your thoughts, theories, and predictions are in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and discuss who's your favorite sister. What's your favorite storyline? Tell me all that and more in the comment section. I'm your good sis, you let it talk TV with, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.